A family in saint roch de richelieu might have to find a new place to live. Their home is in danger of falling into the Richelieu River after a huge landslide swept away their land. Rob Lurie has more. This waterfront property is now way too close to the water. It's only about one meter from falling off a cliff. Owner Dominique Feuilleteau was at work yesterday when police called to tell him there was a problem with his land, but he could barely believe his eyes when he saw it. This piece of land is probably there since, uh, I don't know, 100 years. Never something like this happened. Even worse, the giant sinkhole is still expanding, roughly three meters in the past 24 hours. It's dangerous, he says. We're evaluating options right now, but at this point, we're not even certain if the land is steady enough to support machinery to move the house. The mayor says landslides are not uncommon in these parts. They get a lot of farm runoff here, and that softens the soil. Add to that fewer trees in the area, and the mayor says the land is far from as stable as it could be. There's not much we can do as municipality. We need help. We need, we need the government to take their responsibilities. He says the government has to help find ways to divert underground water because towns along the Richelieu are averaging at least one landslide per year. Meanwhile, civil security is taking no chances. It's forced this family to leave, and after 10 years of living here, chances are they'll never be able to return. But the owners are looking on the positive side. And I was really happy that, uh, you know, nothing happened in, in terms of a casualty, because we know that uh, two years ago it, uh, it happened in St. Jude, and uh, four people uh, died with her. Still, they're stressed, wondering who will pay to replace their home, and how long will they be living in a hotel? Rob Lurie, CTV News, Saint-Roch de Richelieu.